Hi guys, this is David from Genpaw. So in this video, we'll be comparing a higher facet count diamond and a lower facet count diamond. So we'll be comparing our Super Ideal at 57 facets, Solar Sphera at 91 facets, and the Brilliant Lady at 221 facets. We'll start off with a daylight analysis, starting off with a direct sunlight environment. Now under the effects of direct sunlight, uh, all these individual three diamonds, they look really really beautiful. And you can see the different patterning of uh, the Brilliant Lady as compared to the Solar Sphera and the Super Ideal. Clearly you can see the arrows for both of the other diamonds but not for the Brilliant Lady because uh, it's a non hearts and arrows diamond. Uh, it's cut to that amount of facet at 221 that it doesn't show uh, the hearts and arrows anymore. Now when it's under a cloudy day, it exhibits more an effect of a fluorescent lighting, uh, lighting when you're home or when you're in an office, whereas for direct sunlight it's more of a LED spotlight kind of environment. So under this lighting environment you will not see the tingling sparkle that you experienced or you saw uh, on the previous uh, clip of the direct sunlight environment. They still look beautiful. Next up, we'll be looking at the controlled spotlight analysis. So there's always a question whereby uh, either a higher faceted diamond is better than a lower faceted diamond. Well, uh, it's actually just a different display of the sparkle visual effects uh, that's returning, that is displayed to us. It's not about which one is better or which one is worse. Take a look for yourself for these three uh, different beautiful diamonds. They all exhibit a different display of sparkle visual effects. Next up, we have a look on the uh, fire and scintillation for these three different diamonds. Well, for a higher faceted diamond, uh, it has better scintillation, but for each sparkle uh, is diminished in its size, it's smaller. Whereas for a lower faceted diamond, it has lower scintillation, but for each flashes of sparkle, it's much chunkier, more intense, uh, and it's larger. So it's pretty much of uh, personal opinion. It's more on preference, so it's pretty subjective, I would say. Next up, we'll have a look on fluorescent light. So this kind of lighting will be lighting when you're home or when you're working in an office environment. Well, I would say for a lower faceted diamond, it does look better. It's more clear and it's more sharp. Whereas for a higher faceted diamond, uh, like the Solar Sphere or the Brilliant Lady, it can tend to look a little bit more heavily in contrast due to the extra facets. And it doesn't look as clear, as sharp than a lower faceted diamond, like my Sofa Ideal. So end of the day, what we are trying to emphasize on here is that a higher faceted count diamond does not necessarily mean that uh, it will be a better performing diamond. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoy.